In order to complete the style guide assignment for today, you're going to have to create a page on Yearbook Avenue. So open up a web browser and type in yearbookavenue.com. It's going to take you to a login page. In order to log in, make sure you've selected 2023 or the current year. Type in the job number 621. For the username, type in your last name. And finally, the password for all of us is the same. Yearbook with a capital Y, 2023, no spaces. Then you'll be in to the home page of our Yearbook Avenue page. And I wanna show you three important boxes on each page here. This first box is the coverage report. It shows how many students total that we have covered at least three times. Right now it says 0%, that's A-OK -okay because we really just got started with yearbook class. As we get going covering events and tagging people on this website, that number is going to increase little by little. The box next door to the coverage box is our sales for this year. As you can see, our total goal is to sell 330 copies. We have sold 57 already this year, so we've got 273 to go. You can also see the previous year how many we sold at this very time. So we're already beating last year, that's a good sign. The last box I want to show you on this home page is how many pages left we have to do in this yearbook. Right now it says 72, but later as we keep going and going, it'll have a lesser and lesser number, and it's kind of satisfying to watch. So that's how you log in and a few little things about the home page of Yearbook Avenue. Now we are going to learn how to complete this style guide assignment. To complete the assignment, click the tab at the top that says Create and Layout Pro. Layout Pro is the program that we will be using to design the yearbook. Once you are in Layout Pro, you're going to see a rectangle on your page that represents a page of the yearbook. And on this page, we need to do four things. We need to choose a font and a size for our headlines. We need to choose a font and a size for stories. And we need to choose a font and size for captions. The last thing we need to do for our yearbook theme project style guide is to choose a color scheme with one primary color and one accent color. The first thing we need to do is click on text on the left menu and drag and drop one of those options onto the page. It doesn't matter which one you choose because you can change the size and font with whatever you choose, headline, subheadline, page number, etc. You can change the size of your text box by dragging the corners or the sides. So let's start by choosing a headline font and a headline size. I am going to highlight that on my page and I'm gonna choose a really big font. Remember, headlines can be between 24 and 200 point or even larger. This works a lot like Google Docs. There's a drop down menu with numbers and you just choose the right one for you, but keep it between 24 to 200 point font. Now I know that my headlines for my theme idea is going to be 100 point font. And I'm gonna move on to the size of my stories. It looks really small here, but stories should be 10 point font. So I selected and changed the story story part to 10 point font and moving on to captions captions should always be 8 point font so i'm going to make sure that i set my captions section of this page to 8 point if you ever see a red x in your text box it just means that you have too much text in too small of a box so what you need to do is drag that box to make it bigger and the red x will go away now it's time to pick our fonts for each one. The font drop down menu is all the way to the left, kind of like Google Docs. Highlight it and select a font that you like in order to change it. The last bit is to actually label 
your paper with the font name. So I'm literally copying AYT Amigo size 100. That way I know as the teacher what font you chose and what size you're thinking for headlines. Let's move on to stories. I want a different font for stories. I want it to go along well with the headlines that I chose. I chose AYT Abyss. So I'm going to change the font to AYT Abyss and note that on this page. It now says AYT Abyss size 10. The next part we need to do is choose a font for captions. Again, I'm thinking about how the headlines and stories and captions all work together. They shouldn't be the same fonts, but they should sure look nice together. And once you've chosen that font, be sure to type it into the page so that I know which font you chose and what size you're planning it to be. The last piece is to choose a color scheme with one primary or main color and one accent color. To do this, you are going to click on Art on the left-hand menu. You will click on Shapes after that and drag and drop a shape over to the page. You can change the size of the shape again by dragging the corners or the sides of the yellow box. Then change the color. Click on this button all the way to the left and scroll through taking a look at the many different colors that are options. I really like pink so I chose pink. Now this pink has a specific name. If you click back into the color and you scroll over top of the color, it'll tell you its exact name. This one is called FS Bold Pink. So I'm going to drag and drop a little text box right below this pink circle to type in the exact name of the color. Now I need to choose a secondary color. And so I'm gonna go back to Art, Shapes, and I'm gonna choose a circle again. But this time, since it's just the accent color, I'm going to keep it smaller than the pink circle. That way I know which one is the main color and which one is the accent color. I really like this pink and gray together. It was kind of a lucky accident here. I'm just going to check the name of that gray. It's called Grayscale 20%. The last bit is to drag and drop a text box so that I can label that color with its exact name. The last bit, the assignment is complete. The last bit is how do I turn this in on Google Classroom? You are going to go up all the way to the left to the button that says File, and then you'll scroll down to where it says Download. Select Download as a JPEG right here on the top, and then it should be visible to you down at the bottom bar of your web browser. The next step would be to go into our Google Classroom and turn in this JPEG file under the assignment that is called Style Guide. 